have a background in, in, in farming, you know, which I, I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's an awesome, like, marketing way of doing it because you know how a lot of them it's like from hooter girl to, you know, to making blah, 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 or from being a hippie to making that. So I'll just say, you know, from being a farm boy to making 4K. <laughs> So he's here to share his secrets, how he's become an awesome um, entrepreneur online, and how he's been able to generate for for um, four thousand dollar commission. Cool. Yeah, we're we're live. You said you just said all that live. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, Emily Nguyen here, and. Um, like I was saying, as you guys heard, you know, I just wanted to see if it was if if it was okay for for Tam to <laughs> for me to to share a bit of his story because he does have a background in farming, and um, he's here to share his secrets on how to gen on how to make four thousand dollar commission because he did uh, he was able to to make a four thousand dollar commission online so he's here to share his um, secret on how to generate leads how to create traffic and how to make uh, your first sale so um, before I get into it I just want to introduce myself uh, my name is Emily Nguyen and I'm from Montreal Quebec Canada and I partnered up with the awesome guy next to me Tam Dang we are on a mission to enlighten entrepreneurs um, uh, their journey online and then to show you how it's really done by being affiliated with this amazing, amazing, amazing company called Empower Network. You might have heard about it. Uh, there's this huge viral buzz going on. And um, so in this Hangout, you're going to learn uh, from the amazing Tam how he was able to, uh, like I said, generate leads, create traffic, and get 4K within how long, Tam? Um, within my first three months, starting with this company. Yeah, within his first three months, starting with this company, and you know, a lot. I mean, a lot of people who start online, you know, many of them become frustrated because it, you know you can jump from products to products because you don't you don't know what's working for you. Some of you guys may be looking for the secret, for the secret formula, the secret sauce, and uh, well, we have it right here for you. Um, he's you know, just gonna share his screen, and also, I guess, before we get into that, um, Tam's gonna share a little bit about his background and his story. So uh, I'm gonna pass it on to you, Tam. And um, there we go. All Tam. Right. Yes. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Sam, for that uh, introduction, and uh, we're still waiting for a couple more teammates to jump on this hangout here, and um, I, I, I probably shouldn't, I don't know, should I go into my uh, stuff now, because if I if I do, I mean, the, the hangout's pretty much over. <laughs> yeah, well, no, well, just tell us a, a little bit about yourself and your background. Absolutely. Okay. For those who don't, who who aren't really familiar with uh, your 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 story yet and your journey, and and then and then we can uh, start talk, and then you can jump into uh, the strategy, of course. Right. Awesome. So, I guess uh, while we're waiting, I'll just go straight into my my story then, and uh, of how I, I you know um, wound up here online. So basically, I started internet marketing about uh, four four years ago, uh, 2009. And uh, how I got online is through the network marketing industry. So when I first started, I had no internet marketing skills. I had no marketing skills. I had no sales skills. I had, uh, you know, um, I've never done like uh, business uh, people to people business before. Right, I had no network marketing skills neither, so everything, the whole industry was brand new to me, right? But uh, let me just go into a quick story how we sort of got involved in network marketing, which led me to internet marketing. It's 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 really funny. Um, so back in two thousand and nine, uh, we were still um, we were still. I think I, I shared a story about uh, my farming background before. 
uh, to Anne, but I might, might go into a little bit about that now. So uh, about uh, s seven years ago, we moved from uh, Western Australia, that's the west, the, the west coast, to the east coast to uh, to um, to build a bigger farm, you know, to uh, to sort of change our life because we have been living in the uh, the west coast for too long and uh, the land value and everything was getting too 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 high and we couldn't afford to afford to expand our, our farm our business and so we found you know a nice block of land over on the east coast uh, nice and big that was cheap and we were able to just uh, start growing there so we moved over and um, you know, within the first two years, like I said, uh, we were we went uh, from uh, you know having a lot of money to being two million dollars in debt with our farm business. And so, what we were doing during that time was we we were uh, selling a lot of strawberries and fruit and veggies on the side road, doing whatever we could so that we can make money uh, to pay back some of our debts. And this was during this was uh, during the time that was. That was when we were introduced to uh, network marketing. So one day, my sister was out on the side road selling. Uh, a man pulled over and he bought some fruits and he said, and he asked her, you know, do you want to make money? And she goes, yes, of course. That's why I'm here, right? And he goes, do you want to make a lot of money? And she goes, yes, of course. That's why I'm here, right? And then he goes, uh, well, can I show you how to make a lot of money without? You know, having to work so hard. And she goes, sure, I would love that. And so what happened was they sat down, and and then um, you know what happened was he started to draw some circles, you know, on a piece of paper, and uh, and that was when it began. And uh, and and you know, she she brought the uh, idea home and she shared with, shared it with the whole family, and you know we all thought it was a fantastic idea. Uh, just want to say hello there to uh, Paresh. Hey, how's it going? Paresh, jumping on. Hey, I'm just uh, sharing, sharing my story uh, right now. Um, um, where was I? Where was I? Yeah, so so she came home with the comp plan uh, 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 idea, and she shared it with the whole family. And you know, we thought it was a great thing. We've never seen something like this before, where you can sort of leverage other people's. Um, Efforts and then you you know you generate residual income and it was great it was it was a wonderful thing right and so so she started uh, with that company and it was actually it was actually Amway funny enough right and um, so after she started weeks later you know um, she was invited to uh, some meetings that the, the company was holding and. I, I at that time had no interest in, in building any business, right? But she's like, hey, you know, if you're free, can you go for me? You know, uh, I need to be at this meeting, but I'm busy. So I was like, all right, I'll go, right? So that was like my first introduction to network marketing. So I went, and then uh, I thought it was great, you know, like they were sharing some good leadership stuff, some personal development, and I thought it was great. So I went home, and... Uh, and you know, I didn't really think much of it, but many months later, they have sort of like a, a meeting once a month, and I would actually go because I have nothing else better to do, right? But my interest was was not in building any of these businesses. And uh, what happened was, several months later, uh, you know, my sister's upline he came back to her and he said, "Hey, look." You know, uh, and during this time, Amway was having a lot of problems because of because of uh, a lot of the reps they were just doing the wrong marketing, and just Amway's name just was really bad. Like everybody that has been, uh, you know, um, has 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 come across network marketing always, you know, have a bad impression with Amway, right? Uh, and so during that time, a lot of people were jumping ship. They were trying to find other opportunities that were brand new, that was you know better, more more fresh, so they can start on the bottom floor. So this was what happened. Where my sister's upline, he came back and he said, "Hey, look, we're in this juice company. You know, Amway is no good. Da di da. Um, you want to join us?" 
And so, of course, we, we don't know what else, so, you know, we joined. And uh, for, for months after that, like, I, I remember, like, lots and lots of juices, like, getting, like, shipped to our door, right? And <laughs> they, they were good, very nice. And I was, uh, I, was, I was using them for the longest period of time. I mean, for about a year, you know, we were using this juice, and we weren't building this business at all. And I wasn't actually the one that was in charge of building this business. I never wanted to build any of these businesses. Um, so, but after a long period of time, as I see all these Jews coming and we're using them, but we're, we're not making any money, I said to my brother and my, sis, my sister, I said, hey, hey guys, what's going on? Are you guys building this business or not? Because I, I think you know, you're wasting a lot of money. You're using the product, but you're not generating any income. And so uh, they were busy at the time. We were all busy, you know, running our, uh, our strawberry farm. And during the off season, I, 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 I said to my brother, I said, hey, look, how about I, you know, I have some time. How about I just sort of take the business and sort of look into it a little bit and maybe help you out. And that was when I started my search uh, on, you know, how to build a better a network marketing company, a network marketing business, right? So I, I immediately took all that um, that I've learned from going to those events. I took it all online. I started searching, looking around, and ran into a guy uh, by the name of Norbert, and he happened to be the owner of uh, a marketing attraction marketing system, and and I joined that, and um, and that was when my internet marketing uh, journey began, and I started to. You know, look, um, look, look around at all the strategies that was involved in internet marketing, and for the longest part of you know 2009 to 2011, I I just dabble around with the internet stuff because there was so much to learn. You know, I would hop onto like programs after programs, buying Guru products after Guru products. Just watching videos and trying out different things. I've made like little commissions here and there uh, with ClickBank products and this and that, but <laughs> never a substantial amount to uh, you know to really uh, say that I've made money, right? Um, so, and what happened was uh, doing that, going through the learning curve, and building my uh, you know strawberry business at the same time. Uh, so I have I have like you know the season which was like a, a, an on and an off thing. So during the off season I would do internet marketing a little bit, and then during the season which was like you know uh, six to nine months of the year, I would focus a hundred percent on strawberries. And so I didn't really have much time on the internet. Uh, so after like 2011, I thought, hey, look, I'm just gonna stay off the internet, uh, probably for good. Because you know I'm not really getting anywhere. I really need to be focused in it if I'm really going to make any money. So I jumped off and I started to just you know focus more on personal development. And uh, the funny thing was, you know, um, going through these events and meeting people, I, I meet more and more people trying to make money online. And as they're talking to me, you know, um, they you know. They can they can tell that I, I I I have some experience because I I was sharing with them like you know how to sort of um, use Twitter for their for their business how to how to do business probably on Facebook uh, because there's a right way to market on Facebook there's a wrong way to market on Facebook and all sorts of stuff like that and I, I remember one lady she was a, a a senior lady and she was very like enthusiastic about internet marketing she came to me she's like Wow, you know, I can't believe what you're sharing. It's it's great. Uh, how about you know um, you help me out with my internet marketing stuff? And I said, sure. You know, why not? You know, I am looking for an opportunity to learn. So maybe I can mentor you for free, and and you be my like first client. And she's like, she's like, yeah, that sounds great, right? And so uh, months later, she contacted me again, and she said, hey, look, you know, I'm ready to begin. What do you want to do? And my idea, my plan was to plug her into, uh, you know, the old marketing attraction, marketing uh, system that I used to 
I learned from so that she can learn straight from the source that, where I learned from. Um, but as w when I went back online and I was not about to do that, I ran past David Wood's post on Facebook and I can't remember what he posted but it caught my attention and I checked it out and it was a power network and I was like, wow, and here I am, you know. I, I, I saw the power of a power network uh, comparing Empower to the other marketing system that I've used. It was bar none a lot simpler, a lot uh, easier, a lot more powerful and effective, right? Um, it was friendly for the uh, new people, okay? So I thought this is the perfect system for, you know, this lady that I was going to plug in to, uh, to the internet. And uh, yeah, going through the products and going through the training in the back office, you know, uh, and once I got involved with the culture of Empower, I, I just fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, a couple of events later, here I am, you know, on a hangout teaching people how to uh, sort of uh, build their Empower business. So, uh, yeah, Em, before we get into the strategy, that's, that's sort of how I got to here today. And, uh, yeah, so, and, and another thing is, you know, with Empower, um, I was able to make, and I haven't made this money online ever before, but with Empower, we were three months in, I was able to get my first $4,000 a day plus. So I was extremely excited about that, and, uh, and I think, and if I could do it, right, uh, I think a lot of people can do it as well. So I'm really excited to be able to share, uh, you know, how I actually managed to acquire that today. That's totally awesome. Tam, you are awesome. And it's so funny how all of us, how we came on to Empower. We all have these different backgrounds. Um, you know, like Tam was saying, he does not even have, he never even had any technical or online or internet computer skills. And look at him, making 4K, you know, as a, 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 a new um person who just started his online journey. So guys, I mean, any Tam had a farming background. And then and then eventually he tried to he he got into network marketing and then, you know, you evolve into this um, business sense of person that that enables you to to market better for whatever business you're in. So going online is definitely a uh, um a stream, a way to 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 make yourself better as an entrepreneur, to better yourself as an entrepreneur, to market better. Um, but you have to know how to market effectively and do it the right way. Because obviously, there's there's a lot of crap out there. I'm going to be honest. There is a lot of crap out there. That that that's what makes um, people jump from products to products. But here. Um, with the Empower, you know, we've we've all partnered up. We've uh, we've affiliated with this this um, amazing company, and um, we're we're generating leads and making sales. So uh, I'm actually pretty excited with with Tam um, sharing you guys with how he did it, this. But um, before we get into that, I just want to introduce real quick um, Joanne and Harish. Um, they just jumped on. Joanne was having wow. um, um, internet problems, but um, connection. But <laughs> it's okay. It happens sometimes. So, um, Harish, can you just tell us uh, a little bit about yourself? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, well, how I got into Empower and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it kind of came by accident. I mean, whenever I used to hear about network marketing, I used to run a mile away. Any form of network marketing of any sort. So, um, I remember uh, about ten years ago, one of my friends. Introduced, uh, gave me a call, and they uh, said, oh, "I've got this wonderful business opportunity. But I need you to come down to London." And um, well, I, I thought, "Well, tell me about it." And he didn't tell me about it. And then I turned up, and it was Amway. But they didn't call themselves Amway; they called themselves something else. But you know, I wanted to walk out of there because it's got the wrong image of Amway at that time, about ten years ago. So what happened last year? Uh, it was only by accident I found out by Empower Network. Um, I was waiting for one of my friends. He was late, and uh, and I sort of noticed. And I wouldn't usually notice it, but someone was doing some offline marketing, and it worked. And um, it wasn't Empower Network. It was another company called ACN. Uh, I turned up to that, and then I just 
thought about it and I thought there's an opportunity there which I, should, I, I sort of missed out before. But I didn't want to sell products. It just didn't interest me. And I wanted to do something leveraging off the internet. And, um, and that's how I found Empower Network. And um, I'm glad I did. I mean, uh, there are a lot of opportunities out there, but a lot of them take a lot of your time. And with this one, eventually, you'll get more time as well. And then I thought, this is definitely something worth looking into. But uh, it all came by accident. You know, I wasn't intending to get involved at, at all. I used to avoid it like the plague. I just didn't want to get involved with any form of network marketing or internet marketing at all. But um, the name Empower in intrigued me. If it wasn't the name, I wouldn't have looked further into it, I'll be honest. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, Joanne, yesterday we did a hangout with Joanne, and you know she didn't get to really introduce herself. So now's her chance, and, um, and then, of course, we're going to go uh, straight on to showing you guys how to generate leads and get that 4K. So, uh, Joanne. Hi, everyone. I apologize for yesterday and today's internet connection issue. We had a really bad storm here a few days ago over the weekend, and it just knocked out one of the towers in the area. So all the other towers have just been, like, overworking, and uh, I, I, I've been having issue after issue but you know what we got to do what we got to do right but I literally this morning after I got knocked out of my internet connection just walk around the house the entire house finally found a spot right in the corner there you know in my dining area so I'm sitting here just uh, hoping praying that you know it's going to work for the entire uh, time but anyway <clears throat> uh, again my name is Joanne Lee and um, Gosh, internet marketing has uh, been really new to me. Um, I'm so I'm considered a newbie myself. But you know what? With with Empower Network, you they, they provide you with so much training. I mean, rich content, rich value packed trainings that you can just take it and run with it. Uh, you learn. I mean, you earn as you learn. And I have learned so much in the last few months that I. Started, you know, getting uh, uh, into it full time. Um, just a little bit of background of uh, how I got into Empower Network before <clears throat> um, uh, the Austin event. Uh, I was I actually got into Empower Network uh, last year, um, right before my father passed away. I was he got very ill for. Uh, going back 2011 and I, I knew I had to find a way to be able to, to be with him uh, on a full-time basis I had a, a corporate job where I was I was working literally you know 12 14 hours a day and um, it, it wasn't conducive you know I mean for, uh, for me to be able to 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 be with family um, and it was just very hard for me to be traveling back and forth. You know, you know, I, I, I don't live uh, in, in Houston, which was where my father was living. And, um, uh, I live in, in Austin. It's not that far. It's like a three-hour drive. But still, you know, just driving back and forth, back and forth, just takes, you took a lot of uh, a toll on me. And um, I actually left that job. Um, it was kind of an interesting situation, really, you know. Uh, I know where you can say that I was let go. Uh, I eventually I'll probably go into more into that later on, but it, it really doesn't matter what happened, you know, with all of us, where we came from, what happened to us, you know, um, it doesn't matter at all with this business. You know, you can just you can be a veteran, you can be an expert, you can be a newbie, and you're given all the tools that you need to take it and run with it. Uh, it's all about how you, the, your commitment in it. And to be honest with you, I wasn't committed at first because I really didn't have the energy or the time to really do this business. Um, when my father passed away, I literally put everything in the back burner, everything, including my real estate business. I, I was doing also real estate on the side. Um, didn't really look into it again until a few months later after his passing 
literally a week before the Austin event back in January. I purchased the tickets to go to that event within a week and I, honestly when I went uh, I my mindset wasn't really all there it was there I was excited um, with all this new but yeah you know, everything was still revolving with me around family at the time I was still you know uh, very preoccupied with that so I was excited after Austin definitely I mean seeing the, re the people the real people the real results uh, Hang out with them. Uh, these are all real people. And the leader is making five, six uh, figure income, um, and they're they're just regular people like us. You know, they're no different. Um, so I came back and start really getting back into the business full time, and it just it's been an amazing journey. I, I had to play catch up, of course, you know, because there's just so much to to dissect, you know, to digest, and you know, uh, there's a lot. Trust me. I mean, for twenty five dollars to get in, and you know, that all the product, all the products, it's just amazing. You know, the fifteen k, the inner circle mindset, everything, and everything really works well together. You really need all the products. Trust me. Believe me. Yeah, you know, I, I, I didn't get all of it at once last year, but I realized, hey, I've got to. It's like you know you get to know you need them more and more and more and more, and they just keep providing you with more content, more training. Um, there is, you know, it's, anyway, there, we have really good, amazing, awesome tools. But guys, what you guys have to keep in mind, however, is that you only have to follow these three simple step formula, which is blogging, telling others, and get paid. And you know, a lot of people tend to overcomplicate when you do get into this business, but it it is really that simple and at the end of the day you really just have to follow these eight core steps commitment which we will get into on on another hangout but um, it's not as 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 hard as it as as you guys may interpret it or see it because really you really do just have to follow those those three simple step formula and um, but that that's that it's that's awesome and Joanne sorry for for um, for 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 cutting you off there, but um, sorry, just keep no, going no, on. No, 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 you're absolutely right. You know, uh, um, there are just three things to do: three simple things: <laughs> blog, tell others, and get money. And then there's eight core commitments you just follow through. That's it. It's really simple. And and you're right, Am. I mean. People tend to overcomplicate in the beginning. Uh, I I did, and I wish I had made it simple. I'm just that one of those, uh, and it's literally one of my weaknesses too. One, I'm, I'm one of those perfectionists, you know. So it's like I've, I've got to know everything, you know, at least 80, 90 percent of it, you know, uh, to get into it. Uh, uh, I just got to know what I'm doing. But you don't have to. You just, just they give you all the steps. One, two, three. That's it. You just, you know, plug it in, just do, do it. it. Uh, gotta do it. Plug just, just do it. System. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I think a lot of and, people can relate to you too. And um, many people, I mean, I did it too. Like when I got onto it, like I overcomplicated things. You always try to learn more, trying to look for that secret when it's everything is there. That, that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, so awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Joanne, for sharing. And uh, we will get more into, um, into your, your stories and your breakthroughs. Because I know this woman has a lot, a lot, a lot to share, guys. So stay tuned into our next um, hangout. So I'm, we're gonna jump right into Tam's um, strategy now on how he was able to generate leads and traffic and create that 4K that you guys have all been waiting for. I know, you know, we kind of put you guys on the edge, but uh, here it is, and I'm pretty excited about this. So, um, Tam, can you hear us? <laughs> Sure do. Can you hear awesome. me? Awesome. Excellent. Um, okay, so, um, right, so what we're going to do then is we'll go straight into the strategy. I, I love it um, to be able to be on this side and to be able to share strategies with people. You know, guys, I've been on a lot of Hangouts and I, I, I jump on a lot of webinars 
you know, when I was starting out to, you know, to hopefully I can get some strategies from people, but, you know, people just tend to just go on and on and on and on, right? And now I'm on this side, uh, and I, you know, I, I definitely want to go straight into the strategy, but before that, what I really want to say is this. Um, when I got a message this morning that I should, you know, um, how about, you know, because Ed messaged me, uh, we were looking for a topic, and... You know, she said, how about, hey, you, 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 you made that 4K commission. How about sharing that with the list? Because we're about, you know, just providing value to people. How about sharing some strategies so that they can actually use and, you know, uh, implement immediately into their business? And that's putting me on the spot a little bit. But after thinking a little bit, I thought, hey, you know, the purpose of, you know, making money online is so that I can share that technique with other people so more people can make money, right? So rather than taking this opportunity and be afraid that, oh, you know, uh, is my strategy good enough or uh, am, I, am I good enough to share this strategy? Hey, look, I made 4K plus in a day and I'm going to share it. This is my strategy. It works for me, right? And I'm going to do my best to give this strategy to you the best I can and, you know, take it. Uh, or leave it. I mean, that's that's up to you. But it works for me, and hopefully, it's going to work for you and your business as well. So uh, I sort of did a little preparation as uh, to getting into this. So uh, okay, I don't really know where to begin. I'm so excited, right? But uh, what I, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the screen share, and I'm just going to show you how um, you know where where this sale come from came from, and how I made this sale. Uh, uh, sort of the process that it took, and let me tell you, it, it's a long process, right? A lot of people think that when you come online, uh, in order to make a sale, uh, it, it, uh, it's a quick and easy thing to do, right? And they expect to spend very little time and expecting, you know, a large amount of money and expecting to do very little. But the thing is, right, um, I... It took me like uh, actually I had this conversation with uh, with my prospects right uh, on Facebook. So this is where the sale come from, right? And I'm going to go through some strategies in a bit on how you can uh, find people on Facebook and targeted people on Facebook so that you can sort of talk to them and they're already interested in what you're selling. But you know, it, it it's like one of those sales that was it took like a couple of days and I wasn't even expecting the sale, right? And it happened, it just came in uh, and without me expecting it. So I'm just going to pull up the screen share right now. All right. Can everybody see my screen? But, yep. Yes. Uh, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. And by, the way, and by the way, guys, this is a powerful, powerful free strategy. I use it myself. So pay attention to Tam. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, um, you're talking about uh, uh, Joanne. Joanne here is talking about um, using using the Facebook method and um, using Open Graph to uh, to find your lead. I'll, I'll, I'll touch base a little bit on that, but I think Joanne is the expert here on that, and she can share that on another um, hangout. I'm going to show you like how exactly I got this lead, though. Like this is exactly how I did it. So um, let me see, where is that? Okay, so this is the piece right here. This is the huge conversation that I had with my uh, with with my prospect, and you know, this is this is how how long it took to get the sale, right? You see that the exchange in conversation, and let me just zoom in there. All right, so first of all. Um, I just want to say that uh, I was going to cross her name out and, uh, uh, and and just sort of make it like a conversation that uh, is too, too anonymous. But the thing was I spoke to Leanne herself and I was actually asking her if she could come onto this hangout so that I could talk about you know this conversation from my perspective and then I was going to get her to sort of talk about the psychology that was going through her mind so that we can really nail down, you know, how I actually got this sale and why she decided to buy from me. 
So it would have been, you know, uh, if it wasn't like 6 a.m. her time, she would be on here right now and she would be, you know, talking with us and sharing why she actually bought from me. But uh, let me just go through this very quickly, right? So, uh, and I'm not going to bog everyone down with like, like uh, things that we talk about, but like, as you can see here, um, I just, I just, Leanne is already on my uh, Facebook um, friend list, right? So I've been marketing online for a while. I don't know how she ended up there, but uh, it doesn't really matter because you know, using the strategy that I'm going to show you in a bit, you can actually find people like Leanne. Leanne was already internet mark. She was already in internet marketing. She already had a blog. When I uh, when I looked at Leanne's profile, right? She was already uh, mutual friends to a lot of my friends, and I was like, uh, so I was like, hey, you know, this this was before going to Chicago, so I was like, I was trying to talk to more people so that you know they know who I am. So when we get to Chicago, they can uh, they can um, you know they can see me in person, and then we can create a better connection. So what happened was, you know, I was just reaching out to people, and so here I came on to Leanne, and I just said, hey. Uh, you know what's going on? You know, are you going to Chicago? And she's like, huh, Chicago, right? And that sort of just like broke the ice, and then we started to talk. And then uh, I asked her about Empower, and luckily she has already heard of Empower, right? So this is somebody, this is a lead that has already, you know, uh, ran into Empower. I think she said she ran into like a few times, and a lot of people has tried to get her into the business. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, um, and we kept talking, and she said, "Look, I've got I've got a few objections, right?" Um, and keep in mind, at this point, I'm not actually trying to sell her anything. I'm just trying to, you know, understand where she's coming from. And so she's telling me here that she's got a couple of objections, and she wanted to, um, she, you know, she's probably not going to join, right? Because she's she, she had these objections. So I was like, all right, well, tell me your objections and, you know, let me see if I can help. And so, and, and guys, when you're talking to somebody, right, and if, they, if they're still talking to you, like if you, if you, I talk to a lot of people on Facebook, right, when they're not interested, we're not, they're, when they're not responding, then that's a bad sign. But if they respond, whether they are trying to lead you on or not, it's, it's a good thing. Because if you give them enough time, right, um, it, you know, there's this guilt factor that eventually they gotta buy from you. That's what a lot of car sales people do. Like they wait for you to come to their yard. They want you to go for a test drive, a second test drive, a third test drive. You know, hanging out, give you coffee, and talk to you for a whole bunch, and then you feel really guilty if you don't buy a car, right? So this is the same kind of thing. And if if anyone want to jump in and say anything, go ahead, right? But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, uh, go through this. But if you if anyone want to say anything, just interject anytime. So uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm just talking to her, giving her my time. Uh, so she's got an objection, and then so the thing is, if you're talking to anyone and they give you an objection, you know, smile. If anyone if if anyone is uh, objecting what you're trying to tell them. Smile, right? If they give you an objection, that's great because they're actually giving you a reason why they don't want to buy. And then all you have to do is give them an answer, and then they'll buy, right? So uh, once they have no more objections, they'll buy. So this, this is the case here. Leanne is actually, you know, I don't know if she was trying to test me out. I don't know if she was trying to lead me on, but she actually gave me a couple of, of objections, and I was like, cool. So I answered them, right? And um, you know, and then she liked my answers, right? I'm not going to go into like what kind of, what conversation we had, because your conversation, my conversation might be different. But basically, I was just being helpful. My mentality here was not trying to make a sale, but my my mentality here was trying to really help her out because I believe in Ian, I believe in the products, the system, and I was really trying to help her make the right decision, right? And so, with further conversations, I mean, she had then after that a lot of questions. Maybe she was trying to lead me on. I don't know. And she was like trying to ask about the product. She was trying to ask about the inner circle. She was trying to ask about the comp plan. You know, 
And I was, I was patient. I was just like, all right, you want to ask me questions, I answer them, right? And um, so as we're talking, right, she feels, she feels like more, I think, I think at this point, she's got a guilt back to here because she's, you know, taking so much of my time, right? And, and uh, I think somewhere around at this point here, where I gave her my link there, right, it's almost like I'm, I'm expecting her to buy it, right? She didn't buy it that time because uh, at this point here she said, you know, uh, she's going to have to wait for her wife to come home, spend some time with her, you know, telling her uh, about the conversation and then she'll get back to me, right, perhaps on Monday. So I can't remember what day that was that we were talking. But I was like, all right, that's cool, you know. And sure enough, a couple of days later, she, she decided to buy and she went all in with me. Right, and it's all because I gave her my time. I I wasn't trying to sell. I was just being as you know helpful as I can to Leanne and help her you know go in the right direction. So I think I believe that's how that's what scored me the sale. Right. Um, just put this aside right now. And I think Tam touched on uh, a really I mean, a key point here, and, and I learned that from the Chicago event that we just came back from about a week ago. It's all about relationship building, guys. You know, um, you just build, you, know, you just build a rapport and relationship with these folks, you know, these people, and, and they're going to be strangers at first, you know, uh, and they're going to, but once you build that relationship and they're, with them, they're going to become your customers and eventually your friends. I mean, I've met I mean, all these guys on this panel here, Tam, Emily, here I mean, just today, all from online. Online, you know, even every a person that I met in Chicago, all from online. So this is the powerful of the internet. I mean, the power of the internet, and I, I, I love it. So go ahead, sorry, Tam. Okay. All right, so, um, so so what we're going to do next here is um, so I'm going to touch on graph a little bit. Uh, I'm not really uh, quite experienced with graph. Like I, I know there's a lot of things you can do with graph, but basically what graph is is you can drill down your search um, to like you know where people uh, you know where people uh, eat, you know what people. Um, you know what people uh, what people like, what kind of books, uh, what kind of uh, interests they have. You know what kind of sports they they played recently. Um, you know you can you can nail down to what sort of position they are inside of a certain you know network marketing company. You know stuff like that. So let me just show you uh, the power right now. So one of the things is this, right? You can type in stuff like uh, friends. <sighs> Who have, you know, uh, dined? Uh, this is going to be really bad because I didn't rehearse this, guys. That's okay. Don't worry. No, no, no it's okay. Uh, okay. So you're doing so great. Yeah, it's, yeah uh, you're doing yeah, fine. Who has? Yeah, so, so friends who have, uh, you know, maybe who has uh, uh, been. To uh, let's say Domino's. Let's see. Let's see what happens there. Okay, friends who. Uh, okay, I, I don't know. Um, friends who have eaten. Usually it comes up. Okay. okay. Or you can pick a restaurant's name in your area. Okay, yeah. Like Domino's. Okay. Yeah, because Domino's is like a pizza delivery kind of place. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, let me say. Okay, I was gonna point something. I can't remember what it was. Oh, you can. Yeah. Or you can uh, even type like friends who watched uh, the um, yeah, yeah, certain movie. Right, right, yeah. Right, so. Or. Because what, what it is, uh, uh, folks, is that you know, when people check into certain places, yeah, yeah. whether it's, it's a restaurant or a movie theater or a shopping center or a store, you know, they go there for a reason, right? You know, whether to buy something, to eat something, to watch a movie. And sometimes they even tell you what movie they watch, the name of the movie. 
So right. it, it basically is, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know if you've seen, uh, if you heard of ask.com, you have how uh, basically Facebook is searching for these keywords that you type in, like long tail, uh, they call it long tail keywords, you know, and it just pop up whoever has been these places. It's really powerful. Yeah, and we can definitely get more into details about the Facebook graph strategy in another Hangout. Um, uh, but uh, for this purpose, I guess, uh, Tom is just you know trying to get into really how he was able to uh, generate um, his lead and how to get his core uh, 4K within that day. So... Um, Hey guys, and this, when, when this you is really like a preview on to show you guys like how it's been done for him. Okay, so here, like this is one example. Okay, that, well, there's no results there, but you can you can bring up stuff like this. Bundleberg is a bit small, so uh, let me just change that right now. So people, Mway in Western Australia, perhaps people who work at Mway in Perth, Western Australia. So this is the kind. Of of power that uh, the graph has, so you can really drill down. You know, people people who work at which company, and on the side here, you can uh, you know select a certain position, like for example, diamond, or okay. This is really bad because I haven't actually uh, rehearsed all this, right? Um, so what's what's a diamond? Okay, so this that's a position, executive diamond. Okay, nobody, uh, Western Australia. All right. You can change the the, the location um, also. It might be, yeah. uh, you can do like United States or something like that. But anyway, the, basically, right. do you see the drop down menus what on, the, on the screen what there? Do, right? What we're going to do, right, is we're going to have Joanne on another Hangout to share the graph, right? Because I'm not experienced with the graph. But the thing is this. I have um, I have about you know I'm still uh, learning. <laughs> <laughs> what well, I have about 1,200 people, uh, you know, on my Facebook friends list, right? And I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of friends that they don't even know because you know there's a lot of people in there that I don't even know. When I started, uh, you know, marketing, a lot of people friend me because I I because I'm I'm in the rich dad poor dad you know group. I mean, I like uh, you thinking grow rich and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of people friend me who I have no idea who they are. And, you know, so I'm sure, you know, everybody uh, on their Facebook, uh, you know, friends list, you have somebody that, you know, are not your personal friends and have just connected with you that you can probably go in here and then, you know, find somebody that you can, you, you've never spoken to and, you know, you can just, you can just message and hit them up. Right, and that's exactly what I did with Leanne. She was already a friend of mine on here, so I went. I went to my uh, to my friends list first. I didn't even use graphs, so I went in here, and uh, you know, and I just and I just hit up the friends that I haven't. I don't even know who they were, and friends that I haven't even talked to for a long time. Right, they were already on my friends list, and so that's how I did it. And I'm sure you know we all have that. So um, you know. First of all, so, so before you go out there and try and find new people that uh, you can you know, share the opportunity with, how about finding, uh, you know, go back to your list, the list that you already have, and see who's there that uh, you don't know and talk to them, right? But guys, um, so I'm going to leave that there with the finding the leads, right? But I just want to say this, you know, without Empower, right, without this opportunity, I wouldn't have made four thousand plus, um, you know, with that one sale, right? So um, I'm just going to touch in a little bit, a little bit on why, you know, uh, why Empower Network is crucial to make forty, uh, you know, per day, or or like even one thousand a day, um, and stuff like that. So we have inside the uh, Empower five products, right? Uh, we have the inner, we have the uh, blogging platform, which is twenty five a twenty five dollar product. We have the inner circle, that's a, a hundred dollar product. We have the Costa Rica intensive, uh, that's a, that's five hundred dollars. We've got the fifty k formula, uh, selling at about a thousand dollars, 
and then now we have this is an old page. Now we have the master's course, which uh, is selling about three thirty uh, five hundred dollars, and you know you get a hundred percent commissions uh, on each one of these products when you sell. And except for the masters, you get you get three thousand dollars, right? But that the fact that we get a hundred percent commission, and but the fact that these products are so powerful, that's the reason why I was able to make uh, the sale that I made, right? Um, if it was like another ClickBank product, I would have made that. Um, let me just go back here. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I want to um, share right now today. So sorry guys, that was that was like a real bad open graph sort of. No, that was <laughs> exactly. awesome. That was really good. No, that was good. But, that was good. But you know, like um, it's very powerful. And I, 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 I you know, a friend of mine, I was using it with a friend, and we could really drill down. I mean, I, I can't remember how to type it, but it was like. You know, friends who ate at this restaurant, and then you know, it showed up all of my friends who has been to like Domino's, who has been to, you know, this restaurant, that restaurant. I was like, wow, I could really use this to spy on my friends, right? But the thing is, you can really, <laughs> you can really use graph, right, to to build rapport with people. So if if you know that this person for the last few months they've been to this restaurant and they've eaten there. You can say, "Hey, look, I, I was I was eating here." When you talk to them, "Oh, hey, look, I I I ate at this place uh, a couple of months ago, and I noticed that you were eating there as well. I love it. You know, what did you eat and stuff like that?" So you can create rapport, and so you know, open graph. You can use it for, to generate leads, right? Free leads, free targeted leads. But it's it's a great way to build rapport with people that you know are on, either on your friends list or people that you don't know. Just to find out more, a little bit more about them, and then you can build rapport with them. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Tam, for sharing uh, your strategy and how you got the the 4K. And <clears throat> you're definitely right. I'm sure uh, a lot of you guys have friends or who have made friends online that you haven't really um, touched or personally spoke to. So before you even try to um, find more ways to get leads and trying to look everywhere. Um, start with what you have first. Go through um, your your friends list, and uh, you know you'll you'll never know if you'll have a friend who's willing to jump on business with you, partner up with you, and um, and 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 get 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 money with you, right? So um, the Facebook graph will definitely be touching on that in more details on another Hangout. So make sure you keep staying tuned and watch out for um, our link there. And you know what? <clears throat> Joanne Touch was, was, was uh, definitely on point. It's all about building relationships. You guys, if, and you know, that's, what Tam, that's what Tam has been doing online as well. Guys, whatever you, you have to keep this in mind. Whatever you do online is what is is and how you interact with people online is exactly how you should expect people to inter interact with you in the outside world you can't expect people to share and give you um, value and strategy if, if you don't get to build a report and get to know them yet it's like someone it's like somebody coming into my restaurant and telling me give me your secret sauce like who are you, right? Who? Are, why would I give you my secret sauce? Who are you? And you know, you're just a total stranger to me. So make sure you do interact with um, when you do get to meet a person online, and you want to learn from that person. Then <clears throat> get to know the person, where they're from, and maybe you guys will build a a, a strong bonding relationship and start. Um, advancing in your business journey that way. So um, with that being said, we are all here to provide value to, for you guys, to show you guys how it's really done online and how to really get, you know, give you whatever we can so that we can um, uh, help you build your business online as well. Um, so you know, Tam, Joanne, and Harish here, we're all partnered up. Um, with this, um, with the, we're all affiliated to the Amazing Empower Network company, and we're on this on our way to you know invite entrepreneurs on their journey, and to, our mission is really to 
give you and provide you as much um, value as we can. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure you con connect with us. Uh, let us know if you if you want any other type of um, strategies or ways to uh, generate more leads, traffic, and of course we'll we'll give you as much goodies as we as we can on our daily hangout every day at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, Australian time. I'm not sure what that is, Tam. Sam. Yeah. You said what? What time Eastern? What time is it? Uh, where you are? Nine o'clock Eastern. Um, so it's eleven o'clock where I am. Now it's now it's twelve o'clock. Okay, awesome. So, um, <clears throat> uh, in closing, do you guys have anything else to say about um, how to generate leads and uh, and then build, you know, a report and uh, with 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 the people online, Harish? I mean, I think you're very right. It's all about building relationships. So if you're not very, very comfortable blogging, then there's Facebook or email marketing, whatever form you take, it's all about relationships. So the key principle is just the same. Uh, whether it be online or offline, as long as you build relationships, you'll be fine. And that's the key. Find a strategy that you feel comfortable with is another thing. Because there's no point in trying to do something which you're just not cut out to do. And there's so many strategies. I'm sure you'll find something that will work for you. Mm. Awesome. Joanne? And Harris is right, you know, I mean, just pick one or two strategies that you feel most comfortable with. And Facebook may not be you know, the, something you feel comfortable to do because you may not want to reach out to, to some stranger out there, you know, and just start chatting, chatting with them. Uh, but that's okay. There are, there are many other strategies that uh, we'll eventually get into with, uh, with you. Um, I, uh, one, one more thing I just wanted to touch real quick. Um, it's kind of off, well, not quite off topic, but uh, we do have uh, a, a weekly mon Monday Empower Hour call. And I'm not sure if you got to hear last night um, when I sent out the email. Um, but Aaron Rashkin was on that, that call, and he said something really, really powerful I just want to share with you. Um, as an entrepreneurs you know, and uh, small business owners or what have you, uh, we do things that other, fi other people find boring and uncomfortable. Um, but you, you, know, you know what? Do it, do it, do it anyway. You know, uh, get out of that comfort zone and do it. Uh, or can do anything. Yeah, uh, because if you do nothing, nothing will change. So I'm going to repeat that. If you do nothing, Nothing will change. I did that in the beginning. I didn't do, I did nothing well, I, because of the personal circumstances, but I did nothing and nothing changed. So I'm doing something now and something will change. It has changed already. So anyway, Tam. <laughs> wow, that was so profound, right? If you do nothing, nothing will change. Wow. It's like, it's like, you know, so so simple, such common sense, but so profound, right? Uh, absolutely, if you don't do anything, nothing will change. Uh, one last thing I just want to add is, you know, um, definitely this business or any business really, uh, you know, is about people, right? So the old saying, you know, business is not personal, is pretty much out the window now, right? Everything's personal. You see. Um, Communication, building rapport, is 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 most important in this business. If you want to make a sale, if you want to, you know, make a lot of money, you really have to respect your people. You really have to respect, you know, your your list, your lead. You really got to respect them and provide them with what they need, right? Not if you if you stay focused on, you know, uh, what can I, you know, get from these people, you know. How much money I can make? Then you know, you're in the wrong frame of mind. But if you're you're if you're uh, in the frame of mind of you know how can I you know help serve provide uh, you know to, uh, you know to help people solve their problems you know to, to bring them solutions then you know that's when you you start to make a lot of money. And um, like again I said you know communication is the most important thing. Uh, and and I think. Um, you know, from my perspective, from what I saw, what happened with Leanne was that I actually 
you know, respected her time, right? I gave her, because I gave her so much of my time, it translates that I respected her time, I respected who she was, and then she just, just, just you know, she could have bought the product from anyone else. She could join and power with anyone, right? Why would she join with me, right? Why did she join with me? Why did she go all in with me, right? She could, she could go to Tony Rush, she could go to Lawrence Tam, she could go to uh, even David Wood, and, you know, she could get so much more value from them being part of their team. But why did she join with me? That was because, I believe, for our communication and that I had respect for her as a person, not as a, not as a uh, one-time, you know, customer. And I, 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 I truly believe that's what did it. So that's all I want to say, Em. Right back at you for the closing. Awesome. So you know what, guys? All I have to say in quotation, I heard this yesterday, actually. Money is the form of energy that you get in exchange of the value and services you provide to the world. So keep that in mind. Thanks for listening. Make sure you click on the link below. Um, get in this simple step form. Get in this simple um, affiliate formula. Let us show you and guide you the way to um, empower yourself as entrepreneurs. So. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in our next Hangout. Bye.